Copper is a player in the wide world of CRM softwares, but is it good? That's why I tried Copper for a couple of hours so you don't have to. At Brackle, we have some customers who were using Copper in the past, so I wanted to try the software. From pricing to features, you'll discover everything about Copper, and at the end of this video, I show you a live demo of Copper. So, what is Copper? Copper is a CRM built for anyone from scrapey startups to big enterprises, but here's the catch. The all in on Google Workspace. That's Copper's whole deal. It's the CRM that vibes perfectly with Gmail, Google Calendar, and Drive. If you're living in that Google ecosystem, Copper is here to make your sales life easier. So what are the key features of Copper? Well, they've got a bunch. Sales management is pretty standard, but shines with pipeline visibility, analytics, and team members' leaderboards. Communications-wise, you've got email templates, drip campaigns, and real-time tracking to see if your prospects are vibing with your outreach. Collaboration and automation handle the groundwork, like setting reminders for ghosted leads, while customizability lets you tweak fills and views to fit your biz. Copper also has many integrations like Zapier and has a strong API documentation if you are an automation wizard. So how does Brackle compare to Copper? As a bootstrap startup competing against a company that raised $102 million to fuel its growth, you would expect that Copper had the upper end. But trust me, this is a classic David versus Goldat case. When it comes to pricing, Copper offers a more flexible range of plans on the surface, but at the cost of leaving essential tools and features at a lower price. Brackle, on the other hand, provides more comprehensive range of plans designed to fit organizations of all sizes. Plus, if you want more for less, Brackle is the obvious choice here. 10 years ago, closing deals on social media was almost unheard of. Fast forward to today and 80% of prospects are hanging out on platforms like LinkedIn or X. If you're not engaging with them, then you're missing out big time. So do yourself a favor and try Brackle if you want to close deals in 2025, not in 2010. All right, guys, so this is the first time I'm trying Copper. So as you can see right now, um, it's pretty simple in terms of the, the interface. So when it comes to adding leads, you can do it manually, but obviously you can use the Chrome extension. I'm pretty sure like you can import a bunch of people in different ways. So as you can see, you can import um, from other CRMs if you are doing a CRM migration. You can uh, import a CSV, which is the basic one. I wonder how it works with LinkedIn. Oh, you just import like a CSV from LinkedIn. So you don't have um, any social integrations, really. It's all about like Google Workspace um, as advertised by Copper. And so um, you all do that. All the imports take place from the, the settings, which to me is a bit where like you should be able to do it like super easily uh, from this section. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, then we have the task section. So I guess that's how you can create your reminders. So fairly basic, uh, but we don't have a lead yet. So maybe we should create a lead. So let's just do like, um, like Serge, Roy, and let's create, let's create our first lead. All right, so this is how the people section looks like once you have a couple of leads in there. So you can just um, edit uh, the leads pretty easily from this view. Um, this is the leads profile view. I think it's very, very simple um, to use. You can easily add custom fills using that section, which I think is great um, to be able to, to, to choose the different types of custom fills from the section. Um, so I guess like it's easy to, to create like checkboxes. Um, so let's do one like right there uh, with the tests. Yeah, so pretty easy. And you can also use that uh, in the, the workflow features uh, of Copper. Um, which we're going to see in a couple of seconds. So if we go back there, um, this is pretty much how it looks like. So you can have a quick preview of the lead. And when you click here, you can see the whole leads view. So pretty good. When, when it comes to add new leads, like what you can do is, yeah, you can import uh, people using a CSV, etc. cetera. Um, but you have to do it from the settings though. So it pushes, it pushes you back to the settings, um, which can be a bit, a bummer or uh, some time, but it's fine. So this is pretty much how it works. So I guess now if we go to the pipeline, so 
let's create our first uh, pipeline. So they have a, a bunch of templates, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool here. So we're going to take like the, the agency sales uh, template because there's lots of agencies out there that are using um, a CRM. So we're going to use this template and we're going to like define the pipeline. Okay. So you pretty much guided the first time you, you do your pipeline. So I think it's good because the template, they are already customizable even before you create a template. So in terms of onboarding, like copper is doing um, a really good job here. So yes, I can do this manually here, but I don't want to do it manually. I want to, to start from a lead that is existing uh, in the software and I cannot even retrieve the lead when I'm typing. So, okay, so I now I have it. So let's say follow up and let's say, yeah, I want to do a task with said Roy. So now the task is linked to said Roy. Okay. So I guess it's the same for uh, the pipeline actually. So you had an opportunity, you name it. So let's say, um, deal with, uh, Google and then you say related contacts and you add search. Okay. Now I get it. You see, it took me just a little bit to, to sort it. Uh, so this out, but it was okay. Uh, in the end. So I don't want to do the whole onboarding. I want to find out by myself. So yeah, when it comes to the pipeline, I think the, it's very easy uh, in the sense that you see when I want to drag from one stage to another, I can just advance. I can also say, oh, now it's also like, um, like a lost deal or I won it when I dropped it in that specific sales pipeline stage. What I think is awesome, you can just decide what happened just by dragging drop. So very, very intuitive, like super easy. Uh, here, I just have one lead, but I'm, I guess like we, you can have like multiple people linked here. Um, so from there in your pipeline cards, you can attach it to a company. Uh, so let's create a company actually. Let's create like very quickly uh, Google. And if we go back to the pipeline and we click here, we have um, related deals. Mm, yeah, related. So we have one related company, uh, one related lead, and now we're gonna add the company right there. So now it should be good. So if we go back right there, yeah, you see, now it looks pretty, pretty dope. So we can, you can easily like link a company and multiple individuals in one single card. And from the, the pipeline card, you can create the task, which is very easy um, to do. So for example, follow up on um, Google, and boom, you created your task that is attached to um, this deal. Um, so when it comes to how the pipeline is structured, um, this is very good. So let's jump into, uh, I guess, the task. We know it. Now it's pretty much done. Uh, but now let's jump from um, to the, the pipeline reports to see uh, how it goes. So genetics, they are very basic for, for when it comes to the pipeline reports, but I don't have a lot of value yet. But basic doesn't mean it's bad. It means that it's very um, simple to use actually. So you can see I have my different stages and from, from there um, over time, I can easily have like quick actionable stats um, to measure all the success uh, of my team or of myself. So, and then you can, you have a, a lot of filters by owner of the leads. So very straightforward analytics, like not exceptional, uh, but pretty easy to use. Then we have automation. So email automation is, I, I wouldn't recommend you to use a lot of email automation in a CRM, uh, especially except for one mailing. So rather I would advise you to go with task automation or workflow automation to automate what's, ha what's happening in the pipeline. So from there, let's, let's look at the, the feature here. So there's lots of tutorials right here. I'm just going to skip it, trying to work it out uh, by myself. But um, I guess it's pretty easy. Like you just start with a trigger and once you've done, you've chosen how to, your trigger is executing. Um, like you have a couple of actions, like create uh, a lead or update the lead in the pipeline. And then you just set up the action. The only thing that I don't like as a first time user using copper right here is that visually it's, um, it's a bit hard. I, I think for workflow it's better to have like a visual builder. Uh, and here you just have blocks, which is in a sense good because you just think step by step, 
but visually it's a bit uh overwhelming um to to design it and here i just have one action and one trigger but you can see on the left that there is a shit tons of uh, of options uh right there so you can use integrations you can use so many things here and actually yeah, i just realized you cannot use integrations you see uh, actually like the automation feature was in the settings which was a bit strange uh because i thought i was in automation but actually i, I wasn't so then i thought that i could use integrations within the automations uh, which wasn't the case because when I click on integrations, now I am inside integrations. So again, like little things like this as a first time user, uh, even if you are already using the software can, can make you, uh, the use of the software, um, a bit difficult. So when it comes to the integrations right there, so as you can see, they have a lot of native integrations, uh, right here. So it pretty much covers all the basics that you want to have in your stack. So Ring Central is a calling software, MailChimp, email newsletter, reply outreach software. We also have a, a reply integration at Bracol. And then you have everything is sorted out uh, with Zapier integrations. So yes, you don't have that many, but still it's, uh, it's pretty complete um, in the end. And yeah, that's pretty much like the most essentials uh, feature of Copper. Then you have like the, the Copper Chrome extension. So um, on this, um, I will not, uh, I will not like try the, the Copper extension in this video. Uh, we don't have time, but basically you can manage uh, Copper from Gmail, from Calendar, and you can update the CRM pretty, pretty easily. Um, so that's pretty much how uh, is the, this review of Copper. I hope you liked it. And uh, make sure to try Brackle at Brackle.com uh, with an alternative to Copper if you're more into uh, modern sales um, using social media, uh, for example, LinkedIn. Uh, we're pretty good at Gmail too. So if you like the Google Workspace environment, we are good at this. But we're also good at like more modern B2B channels um, that can really make a difference for example, uh, using LinkedIn. And because of this modern approach to uh, sales prospecting and nurturing leads, closing deals, we have a lot of customers who have exceptional results, as you can see right now. So make sure to check out these case studies if you want to know if Brackle is a good fit for you or not. Cheers.